to it's really hard for me to say, but it's really kind of heartbreaking. Last time when we gathered here, we say it's the last person, no more. And today we are here again to say goodbye to our one of our best friends. Salim, to all of us, for the last five years, we know who is he, what kind of person is he, and what he still look like. But unfortunately, he has been taken away from us. But the way that Salim has been taken away from us, it was really horrible. Not, neither of us here expected that Salim will, will die in that way. But one thing that I would like to say to all of us, we are in a place where when we cry, no one can hear us. When we shout, there's no one will come and give us a hand. When we are dying, there's no one will support us unless we support each other. We are in a very, very tough moment in a human being history. And I believe what we are going through, all of us today, we don't even talk about the five years that we lost before, but let's talk about the moment right now, what is happening between us. If you look today where we are, there is no proper medical treatment for us. And there's no one is looking after us. So we don't have a mom, we don't have a dad, we don't have a sister, but we have a brothers. So brother, it doesn't mean that your brother come from your blood, but the brother that the time that we spent here, we built a relationship which is even more than, more than even a brothership. The way that we see each other every single day, even more than we see our parents for the last five years. And I believe in every deep situation or in every worst situation, there is a small hope. There is a small hope. I'm begging and asking each one of us here, each one of us, including myself, including myself. Today, the system divides us in three different groups. They call these people. There are some people who have done their process. Some people, they haven't given a chance to do their process. This is a system that is designed to destroy us to destroy us and by putting us on this island is to take us one by one, one by one. In five years, number seven is gone. But who knows, who knows by end of this year how many will go? Nobody know, nobody know. From this moment, what we need to do at each other is, if you see your friend sick, you need to do whatever it takes. You don't need to recognize you don't need to rely on the medical services that they are pro providing for us this is not a medical services this is a murder so they are providing a false treatment to us and they cause a problem to us so that we're gonna die in that way and we see that it's happened not only selling how many guys have died through that horrible way we have lost Hamid because of only mosquito bite we lost Faisal because of only minutes. We lost, how many we lost Reza? Because of only misunderstanding. We lost Salim because of only car accidents. How come? And then who else? We lost Camila. He just went outside to take a shower. And we have Hamid and then we have a Raj. And all of those people, they are still in our minds. They are still in our hearts. And wherever we go, Wherever we sleep, we still see our, their picture one after one it comes to us. And everyone will ask himself that one day it will be me, one day it will be me. But all I want to say to you, all of you guys, please, we need to have a little bit of hope. We need to have a little bit of hope. This is not the end of the world. This is not the end of the world. And there are so many people who have sought asylum before in the history of the world, during the World War II until now. Most of them, they went through a horrible time, but our time is a different. We are in a 21st century and we are going in a different, in such kind of horrible situations. But all I know, it's one day we will get out of this place. One day we will go to a place that even nobody knows. Don't think about the five years, that five years is gone. Nothing in this world will bring that five years back to us. We lost our childhoods. We lost our one of our youngest age. We lost one of our best age in our life. We lost one of our golden age in our life. Nothing will bring back. 
if we, even if they give you the whole amount of money of the walls, it's not gonna you know replace your life good. So all we are asking, please and please, it's enough. Enough means to the system and enough means so to ourselves. Let's look after each other just for this time being that until we get out of this place. Thank you very much, guys. For fun. اللهم ارحمنا وارحمنا ابائنا وامهاتنا واخواننا المسلمين الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم اللهم اغفره وارحمه وتجاوز عنه اللهم اغفره وارحمه وتجاوز عنه اللهم باعد بينهم وبين خطاياهم بعد المشرق والمغرب اللهم نقه من خطايا كما ينقى الثوب الابيض من الدنس اللهم اغسله دارا خيرا من داره وأهلا خيرا من أهلي وزوجا خيرا من زوجي اللهم إن كان من أصحاب السيئات فتجاوز عن سيئاته وإن كان من أصحاب الحسنات فزد في حسناته اللهم باعد بينهم وبين خطاياهم بعد المشنق والمغرب اللهم اجعل قبرهم روضة من رياض الجنة ولا تجعله لهم حفرة من حفر النار اللهم أوسل ثواب ما قرأناه من القرآن العظيم اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وشاهدنا وغائبنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا وذكرنا وأنثانا اللهم من أحييته منا فأحي على الإسلام ومن توفيته منا فتوفه على الإيمان وصلى الله على النبي الأمي وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين